Right, we're here with uh, Lee Fowler after the uh, Boxing Day defeat to South Normanton Athletic. Lee, your thoughts on that game? Um, poor. The game was poor. Uh, we didn't look like scoring. Um, three goals from our point of view were poor again. And I'm going to keep using the word poor because you know that didn't impress me today. Um, I didn't like the desire, I didn't like the hungriness of the players. Um, simple, basic mistakes, really. Um, you know, they wanted, the, they wanted, the, wanted it more, which, which I'd never had from a team of mine, really. So they've been told in uncertain terms, you know, that I want a reaction out of them. Um, and no teams of mine will be out for it, which I thought today they were on their front foot. You know, the bottom of the league, and they look like a team who were top of the league against us. Yeah, that's it. You know, we, we've now gone three games without scoring a goal. Is that something? Obviously, that must concern you at the moment. Yeah, definitely. It's something that I, I, you know, when I was doing the research into the team, you heavily rely on Reevesy. Uh, he needs some help up there. Definitely, the, the, the striker needs to come into the building just to give a little bit more, I don't know, a little dynamic change there. Or, um, and I just think Reevesy looks a little bit tired at the moment. Um, you know, and you know, looking at the games really I have done, you, you, if Reevesy doesn't score or walks, Nine times out of ten is them two are scoring. So, and now he's not scoring. I think he's papered over a lot of cracks when you're winning when he's scored. Um, yeah, it's something I knew before I come in. It's something that I've addressed. It's something I've got a target ready to bring in. Um, he was involved today at, at another club. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get him in very soon. Yeah, you made two changes at uh, half time. And what were your thoughts on the on the making of those uh, those changes? Um, just change up. I just wasn't happy with the two performances I've seen. Um, you know, I give Hoppy a start in the beginning, and obviously with Kyle, he just kept losing the ball in the midfield. And I thought, yet again, they, they've won the midfield battle again. And you know, it's, he crept in at Coventry. I thought Coventry won the you know the midfield battle as well. Sent it again today and tried to change things up a bit, put to put Marshy up there, a little bit of physicality, try and get Reevesy on off the shoulder, but it come to no prevail. Yeah, you've now got uh, just three three days until our next game, and it's another uh, another away trip as well. What have you let, said to the players for them to go away and think about between now and Saturday? Question them, question them, and uh, you know Deeks have just given them a bit of a rollicking as well. And I've just said, listen, can they look at themselves after the day game and say they've give everything? Um, you know, and hopefully by me and Deeks questioning them, they'll have a lot of soul searching today over the next couple of days, and I want to see a reaction on, on the next game. Um, so it's down to the players. Listen, there's, you know, I'm not asking them to do hard things. I'm just asking them to work hard and win games of football. It's, it's, you know, it's, you know, as soon as they cross the white line, you're playing against another man, and it's how much you want to beat that man. So if they got more desire in you, I can't do that with a player. Okay, that's great. Cheers. Thanks for that. Yeah, no, cheers. Thank you.